Alright guys, look at that. Do you see that? That's the HSBC World Elite MasterCard. Some of you might not even have heard of this card before, and those of you who have might not have given it a second thought. But besides looking very snazzy, I actually think it's one of the most underrated cards in Canada. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's day 30 something of self quarantine for me, and I'm sure that many of you are going a little bit crazy at home. I know I am. Gosh, do you even remember what it was like to step on board a plane? Anyway, in the meantime, for those of us who'd like to continue collecting points at the moment in order to be able to use those points when we're able to travel again, I'd like to do a video today on another credit card that I think is one of the more underrated options in Canada. It's different from, you know, the credit cards we usually talk about, American Express points and RBC points, for example. In fact, HSBC isn't even among the big five banks here in Canada, but that doesn't necessarily mean that their offers aren't worth looking at. And with an elevated offer recently on the HSBC World Elite, I really do think that this card potentially has a place in your wallet. So let's take a look at why. Before we get into it, if you enjoy these videos, if you think I do a good job of sharing the information, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. It really tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job and it encourages them to share the video with even more viewers, especially if you like and subscribe right now, just as the video is starting. And with that said, let's get started. As usual, we'll talk about the characteristics of the HSBC World Elite, we'll talk about the sign-up bonus, and then we'll get into the best ways to use HSBC points, as well as all the exciting perks and benefits that this card offers. The first thing to note is that in this video, we're going to be talking about the HSBC World Elite MasterCard rather than the HSBC Premier World Elite MasterCard. These are two very similar but ultimately different products. And actually, the regular World Elite card has the better sign-up bonus right now. And in fact, it regularly has better sign-up bonuses too. So make sure this is the one that you're looking at. Until the end of June, HSBC is offering a sign-up bonus of 60,000 HSBC points on this card for most Canadian residents. The sign-up bonus is divided into 20,000 HSBC points upon first purchase, and then you have 180 days, that's right, it's six months, not three months as usual, to spend a total of $5,000 on this card to earn the remaining 40,000 HSBC points. Now I said that's the sign-up bonus for most Canadian residents, and that's because if you live in Quebec, then you can actually earn a total of 90,000 HSBC rewards points for no minimum spending at all. You'll earn 20,000 points upon your first purchase, and then you'll get the remaining 70,000 HSBC rewards points simply for keeping your account open and in good standing for 180 days. So for Quebec residents, I'd say that this card is an absolute no-brainer to earn 90,000 HSBC rewards points for no effort at all. Now, normally at this point with an offer as good as this, there's usually an obstacle or a caveat to talk about. But actually, in this case, it gets even better. Because for non-Quebec residents, the annual fee of $149 is waived for the first year. So you can actually enjoy the full sign-up bonus of 60,000 HSBC rewards points without spending a single cent in annual fees. Meanwhile, for Quebec residents, the annual fee is not waived, but $149, I think, is more than fair compared to the sign-up bonus of 90,000 HSBC points that you're getting without any effort at all. Now, on top of all that, we also need to mention another important perk of this card, which is the $100 Travel Enhancement Credit. Now, HSBC describes this credit as for travel enhancements, right? For ancillary fees, for baggage fees, for seat selection fees, and stuff like that. But actually, it turns out in many people's experiences that basically any type of travel purchase, like, I don't know, a refundable hotel on Expedia.ca, will count against this credit. So there are definitely a few mercurially-minded methods out there for you to cash out the full value of this credit and add it to the value that you're receiving from applying for the HSBC credit card. 
So if we were to compare the two offers, then the difference basically boils down to Quebecers having to pay the first year annual fee in exchange for their sign-up bonus of 90,000 HSBC points, whereas non-Quebecers are being made to work for their sign-up bonus of 60,000 points in the form of a minimum spending requirement, but in exchange, they don't have to pay the annual fee for the first year. And both offers also get that $100 travel enhancement credit as the cherry on top. Now let's move on to talk about the return on everyday spending on this card. The HSBC World Elite gives you six points per dollar spent on travel and three points per dollar spent on everything else. So if we were to think about it, if you're a non-Quebec resident, you have a minimum spend of $5,000 to complete in the first six months. Once you complete this spend, you will have earned at least 15,000 HSBC rewards points from this spending alone. So if we think about it, the full sign-up bonus that you'll have after completing the spending is 60,000 points plus 15,000 points equals at least 75,000 points. So that's the total for non-Quebec, and then remember that Quebec residents will get 90,000 points for doing no work at all. And now we can ask ourselves the question, how much are these HSBC rewards points worth? And it's worth spending some time to go over the details here of the best ways to redeem HSBC points because after all, they're not the most widely discussed currency. HSBC rewards points are a pretty versatile points currency that can either be transferred over to a select list of frequent flyer partners or redeemed directly against the cost of travel. Now, if you're redeeming against travel, then the ratio is 200 HSBC rewards points equals $1. So if we use that to think about the value of these 75,000 or 90,000 HSBC rewards points that you'll earn as the sign-up bonus, we see that they are valued at $375 or $450 respectively. Now, as a little aside here, in terms of the fixed value currencies by the banks here in Canada, I like to think of them in two groups the good guys and the bad guys. The good guys are like Scotiabank rewards, for example, which makes it very easy for you to just log into the online portal and then redeem your points retroactively onto any travel purchase that's on your statement. And you don't have to actually book through Scotia rewards to be able to use your points. The bad guys, on the other hand, are like BMO rewards or CIBC rewards, where in order to use your points, you actually need to book through the bank's in-house travel agency. And that means that you end up not being able to book things like train tickets, Airbnbs, ferry tickets, or cruises because the bank's travel agency doesn't have access to those. And even if you were to book flights, hotels, and car rentals, then you might even end up paying more by going through the travel agency compared to going through something like Expedia and booking it yourself. Fortunately though, HSBC Rewards falls into the category of the good guys, making it very easy for you to retroactively redeem your points for any kind of travel purchase, be it flights, hotels, vacation packages, or cruises, at that ratio of 200 points equals $1. They make it super easy for you. You simply have to charge your travel purchase to your HSBC World Elite MasterCard, and then after that, you've got 60 days time to redeem your points against that travel purchase for a statement credit. Now, in addition to the possibility of redeeming your points at a fixed value against travel purchases, HSBC Rewards also has a few frequent flyer transfer partners, but it does get a little bit more complicated. And in fact, I primarily think of HSBC as a fixed value currency because even though these transfer partners exist, the ratios aren't necessarily the best and it may be quite difficult to accumulate enough points for like a long haul business class flights purely through HSBC rewards. But let's talk about these transfer partners. The first thing you need to know is that you're gonna need a minimum of 25,000 HSBC rewards points to redeem for anything at all. And then these 25,000 points will transfer to British Airways Avios at a rate of 25,000 points equals 10,000 Avios, Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer at a rate of 25,000 points equals 9,000 Chris Flyer miles, and Cathay Pacific Asia Miles at a rate of 25,000 points equals 8,000 Asia Miles. So yeah, as you can see, the transfer ratios are a bit weird at 25 to 10, 25 to 9, and 25 to 8, respectively. And so now we have the full picture of the redemption possibilities for our two sign-up bonuses of 75,000 and 90,000 points for non-Quebecers and Quebecers, respectively. The 75,000 points can be equal to 30,000 British Airways Avios, 
27,000 Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer miles or 24,000 Cathay Pacific Asia miles or $375 if redeemed against travel directly. If you're in Quebec, your sign-up bonus of 90,000 HSBC points is equal to 36,000 Avios, 32,400 Chris Flyer miles, and 28,800 Asia miles. Or alternatively, it's $450 when redeemed towards travel. Now, if we're just quickly comparing some of these possibilities, 36,000 Avios, that's probably enough for seven or eight short-haul flights on British Airways or their One World Partners. 28,800 Asia miles, that's probably enough for, let's say, 30% of a long-haul business class flight on Cathay Pacific. Now, both of these options are arguably worth more than the $450 baseline option, but the beauty of it is that you always have that option as a baseline, and $450 of travel, that's pretty incredible to have as a baseline option. As for the last transfer partner, Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer, well, I'm sure many of you have actually dreamed of flying in the famous Singapore suites with the double bed in the sky. And that's actually a pretty tough redemption to book. It's usually only available to Singapore Airlines' very own Chris Flyer members. And HSBC Rewards is one of the only ways to actually earn Chris Flyer miles here in Canada if you don't want to go through the trouble of getting US credit cards. We can also think of these transfer ratios in terms of how many points in each program you'll earn for every dollar you spend on the HSBC World Elite. Remember that you're earning 6 points per dollar spent on travel and 3 points per dollar spent on everything else. So let's do the math. That will convert into 2.4 Avios, 2.16 Chris Flyer Miles, 1.92 Asia Miles, or a flat 3% in travel credits for every dollar spent on travel, or alternatively, 1.2 Avios, 1.08 Chris Flyer Miles, 0.96 Asia Miles, or a flat 1.5% in travel credits for every dollar spent on everything else. And these are some seriously good earning ratios, especially if you have a specific goal in mind for redeeming your points, making the HSBC World Elite a very solid MasterCard option to include in your wallet alongside your American Express and Visa credit cards. The only downside I should mention is that you do need a minimum of 25,000 HSBC rewards points to redeem for anything at all, whether that's a transfer partner or just the baseline redemption for travel credit. So if you somehow find yourself with less than 25,000 points, then those points are kind of stuck there until you get enough up to that 25,000 point threshold to be able to redeem. Now, since the card comes with a sign-up bonus of 75,000 or 90,000 points, that's not really a big deal, but it's just something for you to keep in mind and make sure you never get the points stuck there. Now, if the sign-up bonus, the earning rate, the $100 travel enhancement credit, and the airline transfer partners were not enough to convince you, then let's throw in a no foreign transaction fees as well. Why not? That's right, the HSBC World Elite comes with no foreign transaction fees, which is another highly popular feature for a travel credit card. When you're using this card to pay for stuff anywhere in the world, you're simply going to be subject to the MasterCard exchange rate without having to pay that extra 2.5% for an exchange fee. And there are actually very few other Canadian cards that offer this benefit. Now personally, when I'm traveling, I like to use my US credit cards for spending because most US cards don't have that FX fee. But if you're looking for a good Canadian option, then this benefit could just be the gravy on top of the 60,000 or 90,000 point sign-up bonus. And finally, there are a few more benefits of the HSBC World Elite that are worth mentioning. There's the complimentary MasterCard Lounge Key membership, although you'll still have to pay 27 US dollars for every visit to a lounge. There's the unlimited Boingo Wi-Fi should you ever find yourself in need of it. And finally, there's 31-day travel insurance instead of the 15-day travel insurance that most credit cards offer. So here at Prince of Travel, we've always talked about the importance of diversifying your points holdings across many different programs, especially now that we're moving through a period of uncertainty. And even though the HSBC World Elite and HSBC Rewards might not be nearly as popular as the bigger names like Aeroplan or Avion, I still think it makes for a pretty underrated diversification option, especially now that it has an elevated sign-up bonus, it's got a strong baseline redemption option through a very simple to use system, and it's got a handful of airline transfer partners as well. Right now, the sign-up bonus is worth either $375 or $450, depending on where in Canada you are, 
And don't forget to add in that $100 travel enhancement credit for a total valuation of $475 or $550. Now this offer ends on June 29th, 2020, but it does come around a few times per year. So if you're watching this video in the future where the offer is lower, then just wait a while and you should see this type of offer come back very soon. On top of all that, throw in the no foreign transaction fees, the free Boingo Wi-Fi, and the 31-day travel insurance, and I'd say we have a pretty killer offer on our hands that everybody in Canada, no matter where you live, should take advantage of. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and that it's brought you up to speed on this pretty incredible offer that we're seeing on the HSBC World Elite right now. If so, please do hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video. And I'd love to know what you think about the HSBC World Elites or the HSBC Rewards program. Do you currently have the card? Are you planning to apply for it? Are you going to use your points as the baseline travel redemption? Or are you going to transfer it to Avios or Asia Miles? Or maybe even to Singapore Airlines Chris Flyer for a ride on board Singapore Suites? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Or alternatively, 1.2 Avios, 1.06, right? And 1.1.08. 1. 1. You simply have to charge your HSBC purchase to the... You simply have to charge your travel purchase to the HSBC World Elite, and then after that you've got six...